Hi guys, welcome to this video focusing on what happens to ions during neutralization reactions. The general equation for when an acid reacts with an alkali is acid plus alkali forms salt and water. So, for example, if I reacted hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide, I'd get sodium chloride and water. Sodium chloride is my salt and water is my byproduct. So what you do need to know is what's actually happening during that reaction, in particular in terms of the ions. So in this reaction here, we have four different ions involved. Hydrogen and chlorine, sodium and your hydroxide ion. And there are two particular ions involved in neutralization. That might not be what you think. So if we start off with looking at the acid then, hydrochloric acid you should know the formula is HCl, is made up of your H plus and your Cl minus ions. It is aqueous, which means that as soon as you put them into solution, they dissociate. Hydrochloric acid, the thing that makes it an acid is your H plus ions when it's in solution. If we then have a look at the alkali, sodium hydroxide, which has the formula NaOH, it's aqueous, which means it's soluble, and as soon as it's in solution, it dissociates into your Na plus ions, and then your hydroxide, which you need to remember is OH minus. So on the right here, I have my sodium hydroxide with my Na plus and OH minus ions, and on the left, I have my hydrochloric acid with my H plus and Cl minus ions. Now, if you wrap these together in the exact amounts, you'll get a neutral solution, which if I'd got the exact amounts here, it would have gone green, as you can see here. Now what happens in a neutralization reaction is the H plus ions and the OH minus ions react together. This forms your water, your byproduct. The ions left over, in this case the sodium and the chloride ions, react together and they form your salt, which in this case is sodium chloride. So, if we have a look at the overall balanced equation for that then, you're starting off with HCl, you're reacting it with NaOH, hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide, both of which are aqueous, which means they are soluble. These react together to form your sodium chloride and water. If we were to look at the ions though, you've got your H plus and your Cl minus ions reacting with your Na plus and OH minus ions, and then they are going to form your products, which as we said was sodium chloride, NaCl. You know it's NaCl because you've got 1 plus 1 minus, the charges cancel each other out, and that gives you NaCl. Sodium chloride is soluble, so you put your Aq down. Water, you should know is H2O. That's a liquid, so you put the symbol L down, the state symbol, and then you can put the ions in again. Now remember, you only put the ions down for something that has dissociated. So in this case, it's my Na plus and Cl minus, Water is a liquid, it's not dissociated, so you just put H2O, which is the liquid in there. So my ionic equation will look like this. Now, to prove that in a neutralization reaction, you get water given off, and that's what happens to the ions, what you do now to finish off your ionic equation is cross out the same thing on both sides. So we have Na plus and Cl minus on both sides, which are identical leaving you just with your H plus and your OH minus on the left in your reactants and your H2O, which is a liquid, on the right hand side. And that is my ionic equation. That shows you that you've got a neutralization reaction. Your H plus ions react with the OH minus ions to form water. And that is the same for every single neutralization reaction. So if we have a look at this one here, where sulfuric acid reacts with potassium hydroxide to make potassium sulfate and water, you can have a look at the balance symbol equation, which I've written in here, and then you can break it down. So if we turn that into the ions, my H2SO4 turns into H+, I've got two of them, SO4, two minus, that's one of the symbols, the ionic symbols that you need to know. I've got my K+, plus, two of them, my OH-, minus, two of them, so I've got that two at the front. And then on the right hand side of my products, I've got two potassium, so two K plus, SO4 two minus, the compound ion that you need to know. And then I've got my two H2O, because that's a liquid, we don't break that down into the ions when we do the ionic equation. 
It's important to put in the state symbols, so aqueous for all of the ones that have got a charge on them, and then liquid for your water at the end. And once you've done that, you can cross off the things that are identical on either side, which in this case, I have two Ks, so two potassium ions, and I have my sulfate ions, so I can cross those out. I can then rewrite, so I'm left with 2H plus, plus 2OH minus, forms two water molecules. Now because all those numbers are the same, I can get rid of them, which once again proves that in this neutralization reaction, I've started off with my H plus and OH minus ions, and I'm left with water. So if you asked what a neutralization reaction is, hydrogen ions, hydroxide ions, forming water. Right, let's have a look at a practice question and see what the examiners can ask you then. So number one says write the general word equation for the reaction between an acid and an alkali. That's worth one mark, so nice and simple. Question two, explain in terms of the ions how water is formed during all neutralization reactions. And then question three, explain in terms of ions how lithium hydroxide reacts with nitric acid to form water and lithium nitrate. Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's see how you've done. So the first one said write the general word equation for the reaction between an acid and an alkali. That is nice and simply, acid plus alkali produces a salt and water. Question two, in terms of ions, how does water, how is it formed during a neutralization reaction? So the first marking point is for saying hydrogen ions come from the acid. So your acid contains hydrogen ions, H+. Second one, saying they react with the hydroxide ions from the alkali which forms your water. So nice and simple, two marking points there, two things you need to say. Question three, explain in terms of ions how lithium hydroxide reacts with nitric acid to form water and lithium nitrate. There's quite a few different ways you can get the marks here. The first one is to say what contains what ions. So lithium hydroxide contains OH minus ions. You can also say it contains Li plus ions, but the key thing they're looking for there is the OH minus. Your nitric acid contains your H plus ions, as well as your NO3 minus. The nitrate ions and lithium ions remain in the solution, stay aqueous. Your H plus and your OH minus ions react together to form water, which will be a liquid. You can then write your balanced equation, so LiOH plus HNO3 goes to LiNO3 plus H2O. And then finally, you could write the ionic equation. So Li plus plus OH minus plus H plus plus NO3 minus goes to Li plus plus NO3 minus plus H2O. That brings this video to an end. There is a review question which says explain the neutralization reaction in terms of ions when magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2, reacts with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and water. So it's very similar to what we've just gone through, just a slightly different compound. That ends this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below. And you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook and Twitter.